Hello, my name is Father John Reed, and today's thought for the day is about bread. Where are we to get enough bread in the desert to feed a crowd? In my university years, I spent each summer on a church army beach mission. For a month every summer, a church army team took over the chaplain's caravan on Treco Bay, a huge caravan site in Puthkor. Hundreds of people would arrive every week for a holiday. Whole mining villages would empty when the pits closed for the annual holiday. And most seemed to come to Treco Bay. Every summer we would await one particular child to knock on the caravan door. Most children met us on the beach, but not this one. The knock came with a loud shout, where's Captain David? and a lively conversation on the doorstep would begin. The child knew he would always be spoken to by the mission team. He trusted that we would never send him away. Today, we reflect on a well-known story from the Gospels, the feeding of the 5,000. The disciples were perplexed. Where are we to get enough bread in the desert to feed a crowd? The answer seemed inadequate just five small loaves and two fishes. St. Luke has a small boy bringing the five loaves and two fishes. I wondered what that boy thought when he offered his lunch. Was he just giving it to those disciples? Or to the great teacher Jesus? Could he imagine the teacher would feed everyone with it though? Giving up his food was an act of unselfishness on the child's part. I think the child displayed a lot of trust in the disciples and in Jesus. And without his trust in Jesus' generosity, there would have been 5,000 hungry people that day. Let us pray. Holy Jesus, take the little I have to offer and with my little offering, do great things for others. Amen.